Let's graph the linear equation y equals 4x plus 2. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, then we find the corresponding values for y. That'll give us a point. We can graph those points. And that'll give us our graph for y equals 4x plus 2. We can also use the slope-intercept formula, and we'll use that to check our work. So let's say x, let's put a 0 in for x. That's a good place to start. If we have 4 times 0, that's 0 plus 2. That gives us 2. Then how about 1? 4 times 1, 4 plus 2 gives us 6, and negative 1. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 plus 2. That gives us a negative 2. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 4x plus 2. Let's start with x is 0 and y is 2. So x is 0 right here, and then y is 2. That's our first point. Then we have 1 for x and 6 for y. So we go x is 1, and we go up to 6 for y. And finally, we have negative 1 for x and negative 2 for y. So we could just put a line over this, and this is the graph for the equation y equals 4x plus 2. Let's put arrows on the end to show that it goes to infinity, and that's our graph. We could have put other points in, and they would all be on our line here. Now we can check our work with the slope-intercept formula. We have y equals mx plus b. m, that's our slope, that's 4, and the y-intercept, that's 2. So the y-intercept, that's where we're going to cross this y-axis. It's where our line will go through the y-axis. So b, the y-intercept is 2. We go and find 2 right there on the y-axis. That's our y-intercept. Now we can look at the slope. It's 4, but let's call it 4 over 1. That way we can call it rise over run. So we're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4, and run 1. So we go to the y-intercept, we rise the 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. And we could do it again, but we'd be off our graph here. So let's do it the opposite direction. Let's, instead of rising and over 1, let's go the opposite direction. We'll go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. And we could just keep doing this, down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. So this shows us that we did this part here correctly, and this is the graph for the line y equals 4x plus 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.